Hello, my name is Natasha. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're just joining today, then a very big welcome to you too. I wanted to do something a bit different um, this week and I wanted to talk about some ways in which you can keep a yoga practice going. So whether you're starting a practice or just looking at ways to just commit to practicing more, then here are some tips for you. So tip number one is to don't leave it to chance. And what I mean by that is don't just roll out the mat when or if you feel like it. Schedule it into your day. So if it works for you to have a yoga practice in the morning, then maybe you make, a, make an intention to practice yoga for 15 minutes every morning when you wake up, maybe even while you're still in bed. So you don't even have to get up and roll out, roll out the mat. Um, maybe it's that you would feel you'd have more benefit from practicing yoga at bedtime and you want to do it in the, in the evening to just unwind. So then you could commit to, you know, however long you want to do. And it doesn't even have to be a daily practice. Maybe for you, a practice suits you for doing it, you know, once, twice a week. But just having, having it written down and planned so that you can keep it going can be a really, really helpful thing. So tip number two would be to have a space in which you can practice yoga. So just a space that's just clutter free. So maybe you don't have a whole room for practicing yoga, but maybe you could find a corner and that could be the area in which you go to practice. And having this space can be really, really nice because um, you know where you're gonna do it, where you feel comfortable, um, you know, you can have anything you want, like candles and incense or plants. Maybe you can, are much better at keeping them alive <laughs> than me. Um, and you just set your space out nice. And that way you're not worrying about mess. So the last thing you want to do if you've committed to practicing yoga in the morning and you come down and the kids actually have toys everywhere in the area you wanted to practice or you know, any other reason, just having a space where it can be clutter free and it's yours, your space. Sometimes maybe that's even out in the garden. Sometimes in Ireland we get lucky and uh, the sun actually shines. <laughs> so there's, there's a good way. Tip number three would be to learn about other ways you can practice yoga. Okay, so it's not all about the poses. It's actually only one of the eight limbs of yoga. So I can go into that on another day. But we can practice yoga off the mat as well. So look at ways in which you are maybe even already doing that. That can be really nice. Um, because, you know, what we practice on the mat, we're always taking off the mat. And there's so many other ways as well. So tip number four would be to hold yourself accountable. And what I mean by this is to get involved in like live classes, maybe in-person classes if they are available to you or Oh, you know, or live classes online can be really good because that way you're still connecting with others around you and you're still showing up at a certain time and you're not pushing it aside. Um, so even a program or a course or signing up 
with a friend or a family member um, and doing something together and keeping each other accountable like that can be really good. And tip number five would be to add in a journaling practice around your yoga practice. Okay, so what I mean by that is opening up your journal after a practice and writing about like what poses did you find challenging today? What poses did you love today? What poses would you like to work more on? Did it bring anything up? How and how did you feel before or after? And there's a number of things that you can write about. Um, and maybe you just open up the journal one day and say, I don't feel like journaling. And you showed up, you, you wrote something. So that's great too. You can also, um, like with the bullet journals, you make it all fancy and do these little charts and you can color in little squares or anything you need to do to inspire yourself to keep going. So they are my tips in a way. I would love to hear if you have anything to add. What helps you to keep your practice going? Uh, or what will you be taking from this video? Thanks so much for watching. And uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video, want to see more like it, or head to my channel to see some yoga practices that have been recorded for you. New videos are every Wednesday, so please like and subscribe for more. Thank you.